When I have installed a new game, the first thing I do is optimize the game settings in the NVIDIA control panel. So start by right clicking your desktop and enter the control panel. Unfortunately this is only for NVIDIA graphics card but you will find similar settings in the AMD control panel. So go to manage 3D settings, then program settings. Then select add. Right now I can find Battlefield 5 in the list right here, but if you can't do that, then select Browse and go to the install directory. By default it's under your main hard drive, program files, origin games, Battlefield 5. What we want to do is change each setting to optimize performance and increase our in-game FPS. So if you're ready to blow up your PC, then follow my steps. Anisotropic filtering of FXAA of gamma correction of mode of leave anti-aliasing setting at default should be none then transparency of skip this CUDA since we don't want any input lag we set maximum pre-rendered frames to one of leave this one at default power management mode we want maximum performance Refresh rate, highest available. Shader cache of anisotropic sample optimization of load bias allow. Quality to high performance and threaded optimization on triple buffering of vertical sync off, you always want to turn vertical sync off, otherwise you will get a lot of input lag. And the last one doesn't matter, so keep it at default. Then hit apply. And we're ready to launch the game. So first off, go to more. Select about usage data and turn off share usage data. Then go to options and let's start with the video settings and select advanced high dynamic range is unnecessary we turn that off keep resolution scale at 100 unless you have a very good PC then you can increase it and you will get better visuals and you will see the enemies better to free CPU usage set frame rate limiter to your maximum refresh rate in my case 144 to make these two settings accessible you have to change graphics quality to custom. Future frame rendering will increase your FPS, but it will increase input lag. But since I need the FPS, I keep it on. Vertical sync, turn that off. Memory restriction, turn it off. If you experience crashes or unexplainable lags, then try setting it to on. Make sure all the graphic settings are set to the lowest possible. Let's go back to the basic settings. Resolution. I prefer Full HD to keep the visuals as good as possible. Make sure you are using the highest refresh rate possible for the resolution. Brightness is your own preference, but I like to change it depending if the map is dark or bright. Since BF5 has poor visuals, I use a very low field of view of 60. That's horizontal 75. Enabling adds field of view will keep your field of view the same when you aim down the sight. And since I like to keep my foof the same all the time whether I add or not, I select on. I turn off motion blur. Adds depth of field will blur the background when you aim down the sight. To keep the visuals clear as possible, turn it off. Custom color settings, feel free to do whatever you want. The last four settings, turn each of them off. Audio settings. Master volume, set it to whatever you want. Music, I turn that down to zero since I don't like the music and it's disturbing. Output configuration, I do not have surround speakers so I set it to stereo. Sound preset, 
I'm not quite sure which setting is the best, but I do like the night mode, so for now I keep that. I actually like the in-game announcer. It will remind you when something is happening in-game. If I was playing 5 vs 5 competitive, then I would turn it off, but for now I keep it on on. VoIP, I like to use that, I keep it on, turn down the volume a bit and turn off the game volume reduction. Subtitles doesn't matter, turn it off. And we are done with the audio settings. Gameplay settings. Show HUD. Yes, we want to see the HUD. HUD motion. Turn that off. Hide player created content. Chat log. Whatever you want. Magnify chat. Off. I like to keep inventory at show because I want to see what I have. I use a raspberry yogurt colored crosshair because it sticks out well in game. I want to keep a look on every player in the server, so I use kill log filter at all. Kill log weapon. I keep kill log weapon on icon because we are cavemen and pictures are better than letters. Score log weapon name is unnecessary, keep it off. Awards, hide. We call seat info, show, critical messages, hide, off. Overlay, shadow strength, whatever you want, I keep it on default. Hit indicators, I keep them at default, this is what I used to set up in previous battlefields, so for me, these colors are perfect. Damage base shape, I turn it off. Minimap texture opacity, I increase that to 100. And I increase the on foot zoom radius to about 100 meters. I can't get it to exactly 100. It jumps between 99 and anyway. It's good to have a large minimap. So I increase that to 150. I do not want anything disturbing in my field of view. So I turn off objective icon opacity to 0%. You won't be able to spot flags if you for an example, if you are a squad leader and you want to give an order and you don't know where the flag is. So you can turn objective icon opacity to 50% and when you add, you will be able to spot the flag. Friendly soldier opacity. I like to keep it lower than enemy soldier opacity, so I put it around 45% and I keep the enemy, enemy soldier opacity at 60%. Gadget icon opacity, I keep that at 35%. There's the gadget icon, not that visible, but you don't want anything disturbing. The friendly icon, you can still spot its uh, teammates, so that's good. By the way, what the hell is this guy doing? Adds friendly soldier opacity. I use about the same as the default one, but I put it to 40 here and the enemy soldier at 60. And I increase the gadget icon opacity to 30. Let's go to advanced. I want to manually control my movement, so I turn them up. These settings are not in use, so I turn them off as well. Hints and indicators are annoying pop-ups. Off. And that's it for gameplay. Controls. I've always been a low sensitivity user. Since the mouse feels laggy in Battlefield 5, I've slightly increased my sensitivity to 10%. I have soldier weapon zoom set to hold because it lets you be more flexible in close combat. Advanced. I don't like messing with uniform soldier aiming, so I keep it off by default. For the zoom sensitivities, I have increased each zoom by 5% as following. Controller tuning. Activate raw mouse input to decrease input lag. And that's it. Key bindings. First off, I unbind the spacebar from jump, vault and parachute. 
and then I change jump and parachute to scroll down and vault to X. Toggle HUD visibility, I bind it to mouse 4. It will say mouse 3, but it's mouse 4. And then I go on and add zoom to my spacebar, but I keep it on mouse 2 as well. I unbind switch weapon from the scroll. And I unbind hold crouch. And then I change toggle crouch to left control. Toggling crouch will make it easier to sprint while crouching. I keep prone bind on default because I'm used to it, but I recommend changing it to something more accessible. After setting up in game settings, I'm going to change settings in the profile files. So shut down the game and head to my documents. Head to my documents, Battlefield 1 incursions alpha. Wait, wait, what the hell is that? I mean Battlefield 5 and enter settings. Rename prof save backup profile in case you mess up. Double click on prof save profile and open the file with WordPad and follow my steps. Anistropic filtering 0. Console anti aliasing 0. HDR 0. Enlighten 0. Shader 0 Shadow 0 Stereo Convergence 0 Transparent Shadows 0 Save the file And then make it read only by right clicking it Properties Read only Then hit apply and ok And then make a copy of the file and rename it to the previous backup file. Last thing I'm going to do is set up user config. You can download it from the description. Copy and paste the file in your install directory. By default, it's under Program Files, Origin Games, Battlefield 5. Open the user config. If you do not know how to, right click, select open with and look for notepad. Change max variable FPS to your highest refresh rate which you saw while setting the resolution in the video settings in game. In my case it's for 144. You want to change processor count to the amount of cores your CPU is running. If you don't know, you can either google or remove these two commands from the config. If you're running hyperthreading, then you can set it to 8. Set the command below to the same value. No, oh, Chica, there's so many. I'm, I'm safe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm safe, my ass. <laughs> <laughs>